Hey, Ride Riders, Keith Wheeler here, back with another video for you, and it's happened. My account's been terminated. If that sounds like you, then you definitely want to watch this video. Nothing is worse than to wake up in the morning and see that screen. To be honest, it really can be with all the best of intentions. Chances are you'll run over and check your emails and you'll get that email that says you've been terminated for violating community guidelines. I'm actually gonna include a link to KDP's community guidelines down in the description so you can check that out later. But what do you do when you get a message like that so generic? Well, let me tell you, first of all, some of the ways that you can unintentionally or intentionally get your KDP account terminated. Well, violation of community guidelines, things like duplicate content. This is really popular if, if you're buying those image packages. You know, you, people will sell you, whether it's through places like Fiverr or people will be selling these through like Warrior Plus, and they're these packages of images. So you can get all these, you know, 20 images for five bucks or whatever, 500 images for 20 bucks. The thing is, is everybody's buying those. So I'm not saying not to purchase them, but you need to make your content unique. It's what I've talked about on this channel so many times before, making yours different than everybody else's. So yes, you've got those images, what are you going to do with it on your book to make it different than the next book? Because when you get a KDP termination, when you get a violation like that, it gets picked up through an algorithm. You know, it's, it's computer that chooses which accounts get terminated. It goes through and it says this content looks the same as other content out there. So you need to do something to make sure that if a computer bot comes through there and looks at it, it doesn't look the same as other people's. Make yours unique. Another example of ways that, that you can get duplicate content is with public domain works. You know, things that are in public domain are things that are free for you to write a book about or to you to use, but it's not okay for you to just copy it 100%. You need to include content in there that is unique to you. So maybe you add in some observations that you've made some some side story that you've come up with something along those lines something that makes that work you know huckleberry finn different than the one that was already out there by mark twain the content could be exactly the same on the in the middle but if you add something to the beginning add something to the end add something you know again that makes it unique makes it special to your book that will be a way to make your book stand out and not be flagged as being duplicate content. Another way that I've seen people get their KDP account terminated is by taking their no content and low content books and putting them as eBooks. Obviously, if you have a no content or low content book, something that's that's meant for writing in, that's not something that's gonna be usable to the end user with an eBook. And Amazon's number one priority is their customers and the customer experience. So if you try to take a no content or low content book and put it in a digital format, on KDP and you try to make it as a Kindle book, well, that's a great way to get your account terminated. Another way I've seen, and, and this is something that really irritates me because I've seen gurus out there promoting this, which is taking advantage of loopholes in the KDP guidelines. Well, Amazon is a huge company and they are always learning that, you know, they're not like just a company that's just out there and, and they don't change. They change all the time. As authors, we know that because we've seen it happen. And so even if there's a loophole now, that doesn't mean you're not going to get caught later on. They're going to fill those loopholes in. And it's pretty hard to get your account terminated and try to get them to reinstate it if it's because you've taken advantage of them. Now, there's another way that I've seen, especially recently, people getting their accounts terminated. But first, if you've liked this video so far, give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know to share this with everyone. And before I tell you this next one, I'm going to be honest with you. I've actually had my account terminated. That wasn't clickbait. It's not terminated now but I have had it terminated in the past. So Keith, what did you do? Story time. Once upon a time. Anyway, it was early on in my career. It was really just a, a simple, stupid mistake that I made. How did I get out of it? How did I get my account started back up? How did I get reinstated? I'll tell you that in a second. But first, another way that I've seen people get their accounts terminated as of recently, a computer glitch, that simple. KDP is a business and they've got computers, obviously, and just mistakes happen. You know, they're always making changes to their algorithm. They want to make things even more useful to their end user. And what comes along with that are glitches. So you could be doing everything correctly, not taking advantage of loopholes, not duplicating content, 
not having no content, low content books in ebook format. You're doing everything right. And you still get your account shut down. What, what's, what gives? Well, again, it, it's a computer. Mistakes happen. Glitches happen in the software. And it's been happening a lot as of late. If we get our accounts terminated, how do, how do, we, how do we try to get it reinstated? Well, there's a couple ways. First, what you need to do is remember this is a business, okay? And because of that, you need to act professionally. You want to respond to that email. You know, again, remember that whether it's a glitch or not, that these terminations are done by a software. That's how it's flagged. That's how it's terminated. But on the other end of the emails, when you respond, is going to be a person. And just like you, that person has feelings. That person has emotions. So if you let your emotions get the best of you and you don't act professionally, that's a great way to make sure that they're not going to help you. What you want to do is you want to respond to that email. Get all, you know, try to get a little bit more information as to what it appears that you violated, you know, because the the community guidelines isn't going to help you. You know, you need to, you need to know specifically what was flagged so you can know better how to respond. Now, if it was a glitch, if it was something that, you know, that they say, well, this is what was violated and just go back and, and politely show them that it's not the case, you know, that, you know, you didn't violate it. If it's something that you, that you did fairly violate, be honest about it. You know, was it something that was, you know, because of some misinformation you were given, you know, maybe you took a coaching program and they taught you this and, and you did it and you didn't know it was wrong. Or maybe no one told you to do this, but it was, it was again, just naivety, you know, something that you, you didn't know early on and it, it's a learning opportunity. Just be honest. But first you need to be honest with yourself. Did you violate it? Did you break the rules? And if you did, you need to understand that there's a really good chance that even by being honest about it, you're not going to get reinstated. It's just a fact. And you can't create another account or anything like that because that'll get knocked down too. I'm just being real with you. If you're honest with them, you've got a much better chance of getting reinstated. But again, if you intentionally violated it, you knew what you did was wrong and you did it anyway, then don't be surprised if they say, you know, there's nothing they can do about it. But the important thing is to be professional, be honest, and try to provide as much evidence as possible if it was just a simple mistake or if it was a glitch in the system. And you, you may have a really good chance of getting your account reinstated. That's what happened to me. My account got shut down um, because of something that I did early on in my career. And it was um, with the best of intentions, but it did go against their guidelines. And, um, I, you know, I just, I was open with them. I explained to them what I did and, and the reason I did it. And they did reinstate me with a huge slap on the wrist. So that is something that, that can be done. It is possible. But again, you need to, one, be knowledgeable, you know, be respectful and respond in a professional and, and quick way. Don't let that sit in your inbox for a week and then expect they're gonna jump on. Now I will tell you, there are a couple things you can do to help prevent this. One is again, read the guidelines down in the description below. You know, their community guidelines do change from time to time. And so you wanna make sure that you stay up to date with it. I always recheck them about every 90 days and see if there's anything new. Also stay on top of your sales. If you see any, any changes in your sales, an uptick or downtick, you might want to do some research and see why. Are you unintentionally, you know, taking advantage of something that you didn't know about? Or, you know, is it you're just getting great sales and that's good? Or are you just getting a dip in sales? Either way, you know, you want to look more into that. Don't just look at the numbers and say yay or or you know, boo and forget about it. This is again your business. So you need to make sure that you that you dive deeper and find out the whys, why things are happening. And the biggest thing you can do to help your business is to not put all your eggs in one basket. Don't just be on KDP. Do what we call go wide, whether it's going through an aggregate publisher like Publish Drive or draft to digital or going on to each platform like Kobo and Apple iBooks and Barnes and Noble and uploading them yourself. Either way, having your book in multiple locations so that way, if for whatever reason, KDP terminates your account, your complete business doesn't come to a halt. So do you know of anyone who's had their accounts terminated recently? Let me know down in the comment. Don't tell me who, but just let me know. Yes, it got terminated. And if you know why, you know, whether it was a glitch or if it was something that, that they had done, uh, violated the guidelines. Just curious to see if there was any kind of consistency 
in, in why people's accounts are getting closed. Also, if you have any questions about this topic, let me know down in the comments as well. And in the meantime, I will tell you, this right here is one of my favorite videos that I've done. I've gotten some really great comments about it. And to be honest, it just gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling every time I watch it. But if you've already seen that one, YouTube says this one right here, it's got your name written all over it. So pick one of those videos and I'll catch you on the inside. And remember, the right, right.